Well, what we've done is brought the ocean to Colorado. Uh, we're looking at simulating wave overtopping for levees. Having the most landlocked state of the union, it's quite a feat to be able to build the world's largest wave simulator, overtopping simulator here at CSU. What we do is through the tank, the green tank that we have above us, hold a volume of water. So we release that volume of water at a given rate for a given period of time so that we can simulate the waves crashing over the top crest of a levee and then accelerating down the backside. This is the ocean or a large lake on our levee. We're not simulating the frontal protection. We're looking at what happens on this protected side of the levees, where that erosion occurs, how quickly it moves through the levee, breaches the levee, and then the system fails. So as the waves form in the ocean, they hit the levee, crash across the top, and accelerate down the backside. We're simulating that depth and velocity at the crest through a tank that sits, that sits above the levee. Based on Katrina, we saw that there were a lot of le various levee failures, and so now we're trying to go back and figure out why that happened in more detail, and also what we can do to prevent that from happening in the future. So what we've done is constructed for this year for Jacksonville Corps of Engineers, two large greenhouses, two 60 by 90 foot greenhouses that we can completely temperature, humidity, and UV control so that we can simulate the growing conditions essentially in any part of the country. So we're able to look at a lot of different types of protection materials, bare soils, concrete blocks, vegetation, uh, engineered vegetated systems, uh, a lot of different tools that we have available to us as engineers and designers then to protect this backside and provide the, the public safety that's required for a given storm condition. We're going to be looking at the aeration of the flow and trying to see how density changes of the water along the levee. And then we're also going to be looking at what the forces are at the toe of the levee to see why exactly we were getting failures with the other tests that we ran.